YouTube, this is YouTube, this is Himansh from TechPortal and in this video I am going to show you how you can root your Samsung Galaxy J7 after official Marshmallow update. I have already updated some tips with which you can easily get Marshmallow update in your J7 that is the F variant it is only available in India till now and I will soon upload flashable zip with which you can easily install this via TWRP recovery and to root this you need to download some files all the files are in the description you can download directly so first let me show you that my device is rooted so here J700F Android version 6.0.1 so let me show you in settings too that I am running official marshmallow so for this what you have to do is you have to follow my video of how to install TWRP I am going to run it here because for this you don't have to go to another link of my video so here it is power off your mobile and uh, go to download mode for this just press this volume down power and home button simultaneously and here you can see the warning just press this volume up for continue and here you are in download mode and now connect your phone via USB cable to your PC and after that just open this Odin after extracting it and open this version 3.10 after opening you can see uh, this COM4 this will only show when you connect your uh, mobile with your PC via data cable when you are in download mode so after that just click on this AP and search for the file TWRP I have my file in my desktop root folder here is the file TWRP just click on it and open it don't touch anything just click on this start button and the process will be initialized and after some seconds your phone will automatically restart but it will take time so let's wait because this is a very huge file it is around more than 15 MB so I am skipping that part and your phone will automatically restart and boot in TWRP mode now it looks like this it will ask you to allow modifications just slide to allow modifications and here you are in TWRP so after successfully installing TWRP recovery we now boot into a recovery mode To root you have to download the latest version of Super ASO. I have provided the links. The version is 2.76. To boot into recovery press the volume up power and home key simultaneously. So here we are in the TWRP mode. So now go to install. And both of my files of it is in my internal storage maybe here we have here we have both of the files let me first load the brightness so here we have both the files super se 2.76 version and exposed version 86 sdk 23 so you have to download these latest version otherwise you will not be able to install this or you will stuck on the boot loop so first we will gonna flash super su version 2.76 so just swipe to confirm flash so here you can see that it is successfully installing your first boot can take up to more than 5 minutes so you don't have to worry about that So now we are gonna flash this exposed framework 
and you can also download the exposed apk that is the alpha installer i have provided the links given below but first you have to flash this after that you can install that expose so just click on this expose and just swipe to confirm flash so here you can see that it is successfully read so no need to wipe cache or delete cache so just reboot your system it can take up to 5 to 10 minutes or longer because we have installed exposed framework so don't worry i am skipping that part so here our booting is almost completed now android is starting it took around 5 minutes to complete the boot so i am just fast forwarding the video So here our booting has completed and let's check again. So here congratulations your root access is properly installed. So let's check whether our expose is working or not. I have already installed ex expose installer. The links are given below. You can download this easily. So in framework you can see that the expose version 86 is successfully active. And I have all I'm already using modules like ad blocker green five power nap. So that's all with this small video of how you can easily root your Samsung Galaxy G7 after Marshmallow update. So that's all with this video and I really hope that it will really work for you. And if it did, don't forget to hit the like button and stay updated with with my channel because i'm soon going to upload some custom kernels and custom rooms like a5 marshmallow a7 marshmallow and uh, s7 edge room and the note 7 grace ui port room for samsung galaxy g7 and it will be around four to five rooms new rooms for g7 but you must have to update your device to marshmallow it because it is very necessary otherwise you will not be able to install it so that's all with this and as always i see you in the next video thank you